what latest innovations are you showcasing here and what's the message that you're trying to convey to your customers? Thank you, first of all, for giving us the platform of being here. Thank you very much. So the message is that Benninger is a company with expertise in the web processing and that we have huge innovations in terms of uh, reducing water with the Fabric Master. It is probably the most versatile machine in the market thanks to the special nozzle where you can simply process and dye better more fabrics, tight levelness, no crease marks, no rope marks of course and in the end because of uh, the special construction of the system you produce and you process more blends. In the end that means more bottom, more top line and because of the figures of how the machine is produced you are reducing the water consumption with an inbuilt filter with smaller pumps so basically a black reactive is absolutely possible to do in India as well with 34 liters per diet kg of fabric instead of maybe 80 or 60 right so that makes a huge contribution impact to sustainability but also to the pocket of the entrepreneur right that's absolutely that that. impressive yeah. so that is one thing the other thing is of course if you want to basically die salt free right and without any compromise then you have the cpb station of benninger doesn't matter if it's going to be for knit or it's going to be for woven and last but not least we have decided to basically close the last gap which we have in the whole process line which is a singeing machine right. for woven which is standing over there which has two three key features which are absolutely making an impact right. and uh, uh, are a must buy actually we are coming out with the uh, uh, singeing machine for knit okay. beginning of next year wow yeah. Absolutely impressive, sir. Thank you. Right now, where at the Olympics of Textile Exhibitions, it's not 2023. What is your impression on it and how has the last couple of days been for you? <laughs> yeah, wow. So I just compared this morning the figures we had, uh, we achieved in Barcelona. And I have to say that after day four, which was yesterday, we have 30% more people on the booth. Right? Wow. Right. We, we have basically calculated and boiled it down to what it would mean in, uh, in seven hours because the first half an hour you don't really count and also the last half an hour but you could say basically we have a new person every minute on the booth we bed scan everyone so we know plus 30 percent huge turn turnout especially from countries like brazil uh, um uh, what is it number one is, is turkey yeah. then we have italy yeah. and uh, pakistan Brazil, but even Germany, Portuguese and Swiss people. So that was actually uh, a refreshing understanding. Actually.